everyone welcome to another episode of the power all healthy food series where i show you how to make lots of healthy and mouth-watering recipes using the power all pure vegetable oil if you are ever in doubt about what other meal to create using fish then you my darlings are in for a good treat because i'm about to share my fish sauce recipe that's quick and easy to prepare and takes all of 30 minutes if you know exactly what you're doing in the kitchen of course the star ingredient for today's recipe is the power oil pure vegetable oil it's my favorite cooking oil to cook with because it's fortified with vitamins a and e and omega-6 and 9 it has no trans fat whatsoever and no cholesterol which makes it really good and safe for the heart are you ready to learn how to make another quick and easy recipe all right let's get started For this recipe, you need some mackerel fish, tomato slash pepper blend mix, chopped onions, some spices, salt, and the power oil, pure vegetable oil. So this is a very speedy and quick recipe. And like I said, you can get it done in 30 minutes if you know exactly what you're doing. It's fish sauce and so therefore we'll definitely be using some fish. I'm going to be putting all the fish in the pot right here that is already heating up in medium heat. Now fish is a great add -in to any delicacy like I always say. And it's also a rich source of calcium and phosphorus and omega-3 acids. And it's recommended highly that you eat fish at least two times a week so that you're loading up on all of the nutrients that fish provides okay so I'm just gonna grab all of the fish pieces and put them right into the pot I'm using some mackerel fish by the way which is also popularly known as Titus fish in Nigeria season this with some onion slices add two seasoning cubes some paprika powder that I'm gonna season with some curry powder I'm throwing in some thyme and of course I'm gonna put some salt as well and then I'll add just a little bit of water so that the fish has um, enough liquid to steam in. And then I give this a quick stir just to combine everything together. And then afterwards, I'll just cover this up and then we'll move on to the next pot. I'm going to get started with the sauce that's going to accompany the fish right in this pot right here so what i'm going to do right now is just drizzle my favorite kitchen companion which happens to be my power oil pure vegetable oil okay so i'm just drizzling in some of the power oil i'll now grab my sliced onions oh that sound that gives me so much life okay so while the onions are sauteing i'm just going to talk to you about my pepper and tomato blend mix now in this mix i have some tomatoes, I have some tatashe, which is also known as chili red bell peppers. I have some atarodo, also known as scotch bonnet peppers. I have lots of ginger in here. I have garlic. And then, of course, I have onions. I added all of these ingredients because they add tons of flavor to my dish. And, of course, they have lots of health benefits as well. They are a great add-in to all of your delicacies. So I'm just going to throw in the tomato pepper blend mix into the pot, like so. And then right immediately, I'm going to season with more paprika powder. I want it to really cook up and I want the spices to cook up in the tomato as it cooks. Um, that's just some curry powder. I'm also throwing in some thyme. I have some seasoning cubes that I'm just sprinkling all over. Then I have some curry powder here. Sorry, that's crayfish, ground crayfish powder. And then, of course, I'm going to sprinkle some salt. Now, you can go ahead and add some fresh, um, some fresh herbs like parsley. You can add some cilantro. You can even add dill because I find that dill are a great addings to your um, any delicacy that requires some fish and eggs. So you can add dill as well if you have, but I don't have any of that. So I'm keeping it real simple. It will still be really flavorful. So I'll just stir this around. And then afterwards, I'm just going to cover up the pot right now and then allow this to cook for about 8 to 10 minutes or until the um, water content in the tomato pepper blend mix has dried out completely. And then you can literally see the oil just bubbling right on top of the, of the surface of the sauce. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. 
I will now bring out the fish. I think the fish should be soft by now. It's time to give it a good shred. So I'm just gonna turn off the heat and then place the fish on my chopping board right here. And then when you are shredding your fish, it's very important that you pay really close attention to the bones in the fish. You don't want any bones in your fish sauce. It's going to ruin the whole eating experience for you. And the fastest and easiest way to shred the fish is with the use of two forks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, because fish is really soft, um, just hold the fish piece down with one of the fork and then use the other to pull it apart. And then you reveal the, you reveal the fish the bone rather that's the bone right there that's what you do not want okay so i'll just continue that process until i have shredded all of the fish pieces okay so we are done shredding the fish now everything looks good the bones are all out what i'm going to do next is just quickly check on the sauce hopefully it should be done by now oh look at that you can see that the oil is sizzling really pretty right on top of it that's when you know that it's perfectly dry just gonna give this a quick stir afterwards i will just grab the shredded fish just put a lot on my spoon like so and then place everything right into like I said, be very careful with the bones so that you, you do not have any bones in here. Okay. Okay, you can see that it's quite thick. I need to loosen this up slightly. So I'm also add some water into this just a little bit because I want it to be quite saucy. And give that another stir just to combine. For this recipe, I'm going to be using some steamed yams. I already have them steamed. I'll just serve them together. I'll give that a quick taste to ensure that the salt is perfect. Perfection. And then I'll just cover up the pot and allow this to simmer for about two to three minutes. And boom, we're done. Fish sauce with some steamed yams will be ready. gone way ahead of all of you and I'm already enjoying this fish stew delicacy. Mm. You guys, like, are you kidding me? This is super duper nice. Of course I already knew that. <laughs> I'm just trying to water your taste buds so that you have like a sneak peek. Of what it tastes like so you better hurry up and make some for yourself but like i said it is recommended that you eat fish at least two times every week so you're loading up on all of the nutrients that fish provides and then of course this recipe is a great way to enjoy more fish so i hope you'll be recreating this recipe for your family and friends and for yourself and if you would remember to use the power oil pure vegetable oil be like me and make the power oil pure vegetable oil your favorite cooking oil because it's healthy and it takes really good care of your heart. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Take care.